Hi friends! Happy August! Can you believe it's August already? Here in Tennessee, kids are going back to school. I'm going to school at the end of the month. So I, mean, I can't believe it's August already. <laughs> but it is. Temperatures dropped a little bit here in Memphis. It's feeling good. So I wanted to share with you what I'm up to diet-wise. August is McDougal month for me and Simon. We went to a nice, awesome vegan pool party last weekend with friends, and so we were wearing bathing suits, having to put on our bathing suits and wraps and decide what we're going to wear. And, um, yeah, Simon and I both feel we could uh, stand to lose a few pounds. And the best I have ever felt is when I was following McDougal program. If any of y'all don't know about that, the link to Dr. McDougal's website is down below. It's just Dr. McDougal, drmcdougal.com. And his information, honestly, this way of eating is so good for preventing and even reversing all sorts of health conditions. One of the most basic being overweight or overfat. So the best I have ever felt is when I eat a healthy, no oil, plant-based way of eating. And I also followed a program called Protective Diet for a long time. Her recipes were really good, protectivediet.com. Um, but yeah, and right before my wedding, I was following this way of eating and I was down to like 130 pounds and looked and felt great. And then you wonder, why Why do we stop doing things that work for us? I don't know. So we keep kind of fumbling around and we go out to eat a lot and have drinks and this and that. Now, to be fair, we are very social. We love going out in Memphis. We love having all sorts of restaurants where we can find good vegan food, some healthier than others. So I'm not saying I'm never going to a restaurant again. As a matter of fact, we'll probably go out to eat about once a week. And I'll still be doing restaurant reviews, still be going to some of our favorite places for good vegan food here in Memphis, probably choosing restaurants that even give us a bit more of a healthy option, and then I'll be choosing the healthier options. But you'll see what I'm eating at restaurants, too. I'll still be cooking, I'll still be doing cooking from blogs, but most of the recipes I'll be doing are to begin from drmcdougal.com. Straight up McDougal recipes. His wife Mary McDougal has really great recipes, like over a thousand recipes for free on the website. I'll be cooking some of those, sharing those with you. The next cooking video I'm sharing was before McDougal month. But it was actually a recipe, the zucchini noodles that you'll be seeing in the on Monday. Uh, it actually happened to be a recipe that fits within the McDougal guidelines. I'm not going super strict. I'm not going to say I'm not going to eat any nuts or avocados or anything with fat. Just basic, straight up McDougal program. And he's fine with a bit of salt, a bit of sugar, and... You know, do what you need to do to eat an oil-free vegan diet. So that's what I'm going to be up to. So to kick off McDougal month, I recorded a day of eating, August 1st. So I'll show you what I had for, it's actually my second day of McDougal eating because I got excited on Monday, which was technically still July, but it was Monday. Don't we all start a diet on Monday? <laughs> So I recorded actually my second day of McDougal eating, which was August 1st, for y'all to see. So enjoy having a look at what I eat in a day, McDougal style, and Simon and I will be eating this way all month, and then I'll share how I feel, how we're doing. So you know how I feel about diets and weight loss. I'm just up and down, up and down, but I'm not... Being strict, I'm not saying, oh look, here's everything, all my calories, I'm not counting things, I'm not ever going to, you know, not go out to eat, we're still going to go be our social Memphis cells, and I'm just going to cook 
the healthiest way that makes us feel best at home. And we'll see how we feel at the end of the month. Just wanted to share that with y'all. I started the day with just some tea and fruit. I wasn't really that hungry in the morning for a big breakfast. Simon always brings me a cup of black tea with soy milk right before he leaves for work at about 7.15 and that's when I get up. I also had a cup of green tea and had two clementines to snack on first thing in the morning. Lunchtime. For lunch today, I am actually having the same thing that we had for dinner last night because it was so tasty and we had tons of leftovers. So I am having tacos. I'm using corn tortillas and in between, corn tortillas can tend to be a little weak and flaky. Heating them up helps make them a little stronger and I double layer them. So in between my two layers of corn tortillas on each taco, I put some just Kroger fat-free refried beans. Then these are topped with a lentil mixture. Those are whole red lentils that I got from the Indian market, which is a small little black lentil that I cooked in the pressure cooker with taco seasoning. So I have my taco seasoned lentils on my corn tortillas and then I am going to I'm going to top those tacos with this chopped red onion, tomato, fresh cilantro, a bit of lettuce which we had some left over from last night so already chopped. This is a McDougal recipe, Mary McDougal recipe for a creamy tofu taco topping and it's just a brick of tofu and taco seasoning that I blended up in my Vitamix and it comes out kind of sour cream like with taco seasoning. I used an organic mix from Whole Foods. It was like a southwestern taco seasoning mix. And then my favorite hot sauce, this El Yucateco Habanero, the green one, the green Yucateco. I'm gonna put, it's really hot, but delicious flavor too. I'm going to top my tacos with all of those things. Look at those beauties. Tacos for lunch today. I'm going to wrap those up and chow down on my McDougal compliant. No oil, plenty of starches, few veggies. Time for my healthy lunch. I will see you at dinner time, friends. Oh, here's a little clue. Here's a little clue about what dinner is going to be. Sneak peek. See you at dinner time. Dinner time, friends, or at least I'm getting ready to make dinner. I am going to be making an Indian curry as you probably guessed from my hint earlier in the day. So here's everything that's gonna go into the curry tonight. We have these uh, mixed lentil dal that I got from the Indian market. I'm gonna put two cups of the mixed lentils in the pressure cooker. Probably a couple tablespoons of this Bangan Barta masala seasoning, which specifically says spice blend for roasted aubergine, and I'm putting a bunch of, aubergine's the British word for eggplant, and so we're putting a bunch of eggplant into this curry tonight. I'm going to put a can of crushed tomatoes. These are organic crushed Roma tomatoes from that I got from Sprouts not long ago. I have half of a fresh tomato left over from the farmer's market. I'm going to chop that up and throw that in there too. Three cloves of garlic, half of an onion, a zucchini, three carrots, just because that's all that was left in the bag. And I thought, eh, what's the point of using two? Let's just chop them all up. And then I have these cute little baby eggplants. I think they were called fairy eggplants. Um, that I got from the farmer's market in Cooper Young this past Saturday. 
Um, so I'm going to chop up all that eggplant, put in the curry as well. I'm not putting watermelon in the curry. That's just out because I want to use that watermelon for dessert as I'm trying to eat healthier. No oil, plenty of starches, fruits, and veg. So I'm going to throw all of this into my pressure cooker. And I'm going to set it for about 30 minutes high pressure. And we're gonna have a nice eggplant curry for our dinner tonight. I will show you the final product. We're also gonna make some basmati rice and chop up fresh cilantro and we'll serve this all on rice with cilantro. So I will show you the final product in a bit, friends. A couple more notes on curry making here. I forgot I had it in the cupboard some of these organic curry leaves that I got from Whole Foods. I have since found much cheaper curry leaves at the Indian market, which we have in the freezer, but I had these to use up, so I also sprinkled in about a tablespoon. These were already kind of chopped or crushed, so I did about a tablespoon of these curry leaves thrown into the pot as well. Also wanted to mention that I save all of my veggie scraps, so Today I put the tops and tails of the zucchini, the carrot, the peel from the garlic, a little bit of end piece of the onion. Keep all of my veggie scraps in a bag in the freezer. Then I make homemade broth in the pressure cooker, which I will show y'all in a future video. So everything went in the pressure cooker, and then I also forgot to tell y'all that I cover this with water, basically until I cover everything. In this case, I was up to about the 12 cup line. That's with all of the lentils, all of the vegetables, the crushed tomatoes, and the liquid. Everything in there comes up to about the 12 cup line. Pretty close to a full pressure cooker worth of curry. Just wanted to give you the full directions in case you want to try this at home. It's just made up curry night, but feel free and the vegetables don't have to be exact, whatever you have on hand. So I add water, I mix everything together, then I'm going to put the lid on, set this for 30 minutes at high pressure, and probably just let it naturally release. Depends, we're going to a concert tonight, so whenever we need to eat, probably around seven o'clock or so then I'll just release pressure and everything should be all cooked because these are mostly small yellow and red lentils they should cook fairly easily 30 minutes at high pressure okay just wanted to give you those extra tips on homemade curry making these are the toppings that I prepped for the curry so I chopped a bunch of fresh cilantro and then we also have this Indian pickle. The current jar we're using is this tomato pickle, which is quite spicy. These Priya Indian pickles are the best Indian flavored seasonings in the world. They do have a bit of oil, so I'm backing off on McDougal program, but I will put a link below if you want to season your curries with some of the best seasoning in the world. So here is the final curry night. We had this and then we went down to Minglewood Hall to see Foster the People concert and we did have some beer at the concert and that was the rest of what I ate in my day of McDougal eating. I hope you enjoyed this look at what I eat in a day kicking off McDougal month in the Parsley household. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you like my videos about food and fun in Memphis, feel free to subscribe down below. I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. Bye, friends.